While LinkedIn got scooped up by Microsoft for billions and billions of dollars, you may have missed the new hotness at E3, WWDC's Dev Everything, and whether trees actually sleep. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where getting to the bottom of whether ants are real is all we care about today. I am an ant. Mostly because you want this guy on your side. By now, you must know about the new Xbox console announced at E3, so just maybe we'll keep going. Apple has a whole host of new developer yeah, we tools. we know, we know. Okay. Next story. So, what we're actually going to do is devote today to one topic only, and it's trees because... A group of international scientists believe they're on their way to proving that trees actually sleep. A new study focused on birch trees show they drop the tips of their branches up to 10 centimeters at nighttime that's on the left. To get that data, scientists teamed up to scan trees in Austria and Finland at the same time. At this stage, there's no way to prove that the trees aren't just resting after angling their branches and leaves to catch more sun all day long. But at least two other trees, poplars and chestnuts, have the <laughs> But at least two other trees, poplars and chestnuts, have had their genomes decoded enough to show that they have circadian rhythm in their DNA, which as you all know is the thing deep inside that tells us it's time to go to bed or not. This is it, Jennifer. Your big break in TV. While the tree huggers are like, duh, they're my friends. Hello, John Smith. Oh, God, is that tree is talking to me. This is one step closer to showing us that trees may be more conceptually alive than we knew. Hopefully not the giving tree level of awareness, because that turns a children's book into a horror story. And finally, if you need to feel a little better about the world, take a look at the first child-sized exoskeleton suit being tested by this handsome little man in Spain. Loss of mobility can bring a whole host of other issues besides having one bad illness, so getting little patients up and at them should help them have better lives. Those of you affected by the tragedy in Orlando, Engadget is with you.